Well, YouTube, it's uh, January 8th. It's probably uh, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning here in uh, Oregon. Uh, we're recovering or starting to thaw out from our all-day snow yesterday. Um, hopefully it clears up. It's a Sunday today, so Monday back to work. Hopefully uh, roads will clear up a little bit because it is nasty out there. What am I doing? I am peeling the paint off of this 64 Cushman Scotsman. And uh, I have new tires ordered, Ford ordered yesterday. And uh, I these have a six inch wheel on them. And I was used to, could buy hubcaps for these. And uh, I'm having trouble finding them. Uh, so I used to get them at uh, Summit Racing where they were on eBay. Um, right now I can't find them either place. So, hmm, I might have to do something different with these wheels, like just paint them and uh, change to acorn lug nuts or something anyway i'm still figuring that out uh but for today i thought i would uh, peel the paint off of this thing it's got multiple layers of paint on it and i'll show you what i use i fiddled it with a little bit with that uh, step van out there i'm uh not actively working on it right now but uh, this spring i'll endeavor to get the rest of the thing sanded down get some primer on it anyway um but I discovered these sanding discs at Harbor Freight. This is uh, the cheap Harbor Freight Drill Master uh, side grinder. These things sell normal price are 15 bucks. Of course, you have a 20 or 25 percent off coupon. If you're paying more than 12 dollars for this, you're paying too much money. And if you really watch the sales, you can get them for 10. So most of the ones I have, and I have like four of these, are $10. So far I haven't wore one out yet, and I use the daylights out of them. This is one of those abrasive pads. It's kind of like a super industrial scotch Bright or something. And so far this is uh, all the wear so far. Um, and I have peeled rust and multiple layers of paint off the body on this thing. Um, there was quite a bit of rust up here, but uh, you know the seat goes on this and I'm going to build stuff over it, so I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'll just uh, sand it down a little more and uh, just prime it, sand it, and paint it. It is what it is. I'm not going to fiddle with it too much. Again, the backrest and the seat and everything goes over this. You can't see it. The sides are actually pretty decent. Um, taking it all down to bare steel. We'll get it sanded and they get it in primer hopefully today until I run out of energy or whatever to work on this thing today. Um, but so far it's uh, working out really good. I just thought I would show you this grinder and that sanding disc, how effective it is in peeling off paint and primer and rust and so forth. And there is a lot of all of the above on this thing. Some rust down there. So anyway, let me put you up on the stand here if I can. I won't bore you with the, doing the whole thing, but I did want to show you how efficient this uh, was. How come my fingers are very good? Come on. Alrighty. You're set.
Well guys, that uh, shows you a little bit just how fast that uh, wheel works. It isn't going to take me another 5-10 minutes to finish that. You saw I got into some Bondo there and it just peeled it out like butter. Got a little rust through to deal with, don't I? That's alright, we can do that. We'll uh, fix that up. I'll finish sanding this side and probably prep it and uh, just throw this in primer and then move on to the other side see how far we get before I decide I don't want to work on this any longer today so anyway uh, drill master uh, $10 side grinder Harbor Freight if you get them on sale or stack up your coupons and then these abrasive wheels will fit any side grinder I've got DeWalt's and they fit there just fine um, and these are like uh, five or six dollars at Harbor Freight but I get in there all the time and if I don't really need anything if nothing else I use up 20% off coupon on it and uh, what will that save you about a buck twenty so you can get those in the four or five dollar range uh, fantastic uh, discs I'm glad I found them you can't even get them everywhere but you can get them at Harbor Freight you can see I got about five more minutes or less worth of paint to get off this side we'll clean this side up uh, do a little quick sanding with a DA get it flattened out get some primer on it and then move around the corner I did want to show you also this uh, somebody's put an aluminum bumper on the back of this and it's pretty nice it's been painted a few times and I took that pad and just in a, a second or two cleaned off the paint and uh, look at that. So I believe what I'm going to do is just strip that bumper of paint with that pad and uh, just polish out that bumper. What the heck. I'll have a friend of mine do some Cushman decals for the back. And uh, I believe in this area here it would have said uh, Scotsman. So I'll get a Scotsman decal made for it as well. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And then we'll keep videos coming. All right. Thank you.